welcome back to the ISL semi-final preview show brought to you by KLNOW.com. Today we'll be looking at the second semi-final which is Atletico de Kolkata versus Chennai FC. Let's look at some key stats today. ATK was second in the table with Chennai FC third. Mendoza is the highest scorer of the ISL season 2 with 11 goals with Hume being the second highest scorer with 10 goals. ATK have scored 26 goals in total compared to Chennai's 25. Hi Abhishek. Hi Zibran. Both the teams have very similar stats this season, hmm. don't you think? They do, uh, they've had different uh, styles as to how they reached the semi-finals. Right. ATK had booked their uh, spot in the semis quite early. Yeah. They were the first team to do it and Chennai made it just by the skin of their teeth in the last, uh, virtually the last game of the season. They've uh, gone on a very good run in the last four to five games, yeah. won all their games um, by handsome margin. They look like a very settled unit. Yeah. However, there's a problem there with uh, injuries and suspensions. Right. Uh, they have some key players out. They have Ilano out, they have Merajuddin Badu out uh, through suspension and they have Rafael Augusto who is doing extremely well for them in the yeah. centre of midfield. He's out for the tournament is what we understand through a hamstring tear. So what now, what Matarazzi has to do now is sort of work with the players he has in reserve right. who he's used well uh, till now but they might not be the level required to match up to an ATK who are already a very settled unit. They haven't had too many injuries apart from uh, Helder Postiga who was injured the first game of yeah. the season. They've had people going out and then coming back in. Javi Lara of course is out. But that's going to be a problem and that's going to be uh, an issue that Matarazzi will face. Right. Uh, Abhishek, let's move on to some of the key battles right. that we will uh, might see in the game. Right. Who do you think will be the key battles? First two obvious picks, I think uh, Hume and uh, Mendonza. These are two strikers. One is for Ian Hume plays for Atletico de Kolkata, of course, and uh, Mendonza is for Chennai in FC. Right. Hume against Mendy uh, is going to be a very key battle. Uh, Hume is tireless. Even though he was not scoring in the early part of the tournament, he was giving assists. Yeah. He can't hide. Uh, he will never hide in the game. He will never do that. And uh, you expect him to. Do come up with something or the other and trouble the Chennai backline right. mercilessly. Mendonza is very much the same. He also had a lean patch in the middle but he went through it superbly, came back with the, he's now the highest goal scorer and he's got I think uh, some good number of assists assist as well. Right. Mendonza against Arna Mondal is what I think would be another key battle. Arna has done well but uh, this will be the biggest battle that he's had to face uh, this tournament. Apart from that you have the creative midfielders and Jamie Gavilan who will have to come up against yeah. Harmanjot Kabra. And uh, of course, for some duty on the right hand side for Atletico de Kolkata, right. who will be facing Dhanachandra Singh, who's had a good second half of the tournament. So I'm looking forward to these battles. Again, uh, as with the Delhi and Goa game, there yeah. are other battles as well. There's uh, some very good players on both yeah. sides. Again, I feel it'll be interesting to see how Chennai, uh, how Matarazzi makes up that Chennai team. Who fills in at right back? Who fills in at centre midfield? Who fills in at the number 10 position? That's what is going to decide a lot of uh, what's going to happen in, in Pune. Pune is going to be the venue. Again, something which would be interesting because they're used to playing in Chennai. They're used to playing in the rain actually because the last four games they've won that, uh, played that they've yeah. been raining incessantly. Yeah, uh, but uh, Pune is going to be a different kettle of fish. So let's see how that happens. Right. Uh, now just taking a look at both the coaches, mm. Habas and Matarazi. Uh, how does that stand as a key factor for the game? Havas and Matarazzi, uh, again, these two managers have done ex exceedingly well at different stages of the tournament. Havas is an experienced campaigner. He's yeah. won the league last year, the defending champion. Yeah. He knows what it is, uh, what it takes to get through the semi-finals. Right. Although, uh, even Matarazzi knows how, what it takes to get to the semi-finals. Maybe not so much as getting out of it. Right. So, it will be a challenge for Matarazzi. I feel he's on the... He's on the back foot, maybe the slight favourites being Atletico de Kolkata here. Uh, they play, uh, I mean Matarazi likes a physical game. Right. Uh, Habas also likes a physical game but he likes to keep the ball on the ground, very Spanish sort of yeah. play. So again, very differing managers in some aspects and also you, there's some uh, similarities there. Let's see how it goes, it will be a very interesting right. battle again. Thanks Abhishek. Yeah. Thank you for watching the ISL semi-final preview show brought to you by Kailnow.com. Keep watching, thank you. Thank you.